Kurumi Tokasaki in a kimono. What more can I say? What's up there? Welcome to a brand new video on 414 Anime. So in today's video, we're opening up this Kurumi Tokusaki uh, Alluring Kamino version. And, and like, my God, my God, what, what more can I say about this figure? It is elegant. It is beautiful. It is just as it's just everything that I've ever wanted in my entire life. So I will, I will, I would admit, I will be honest. I have been very lucky in my waifu choice. Reason being because a lot of figures and a lot of merch has been made around her. But like I said, with many figures, not just many figures, but we've had her in different attires as well, including, of course, this kimono version of her. I mean, like, goddamn, goddamn, just look, look, look at this. My God, <laughs> like. What more? What more could you want from your waifu uh, than to see her in a beautiful kimono, which is sculpted just ever so elegantly? So before we get into her, let's look at some of the facts. I'm known for this, right? So this is the KD Collection Data Live light novel Kurumi Tokusaki alluring kimono version. One seventh scale figure. So she stands at around 230 millimeters, 23 centimeters. Height guy will know. So this is a figure by Kadokawa. As we know, they are, you know, involved with Data Bullet. So um, we know this is going to be good. Uh, sculpted by Fundoshi. So a little bit of a backstory on this figure, though. So this figure is actually based uh, on the appearance uh, of Kurumi on a Date Alive magazine. So noise, noise, noise. I love it. <laughs> it's just noise. It's... So I'm just going to read the bio that they've got up for this. Okay, so from Kadokawa's light novel series, Days Alive, comes this one seventh scale figure of heroine, heroine? Kurumi Tokusaki. She's been recreated wearing a beautiful harigi. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm not Japanese. Bad at pronunciation. Leave me hates in the comments. I'm a big boy. I can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> they're taking they they're being so horrible to me in the comments saying that I I I uh, uh. Okay, so she's recreated wearing a beautiful Haragi Haragi whatevs based on her appearance on the cover of Data Live magazine as illustrated by Sunako. So Kurumi's alluring beauty is on full display with a boldly low collar You know and a kimono that shows off her impressive curves. God damn, you know. God damn, I know. <laughs> fap, 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 fap everywhere. So the pattern of the kimono has been faithfully recreated, supervised by Sunako in order to recreate even the back of the kimono, which was of course unseen in the original illustration in outstanding detail. And uh, haven't seen the back of the figure yet in person from the pictures, it looks very nice. Be sure to add it to your collection, bruh. <laughs> Bruh, of course. So uh, price-wise, so this one is still on order. I got mine from armyarmy.com. Uh, this one you can still get. Orders have not closed on it just yet. And it's going to set you back 19,250 Japanese yen, which, of course, I'll talk to you in American, is $182.49. And for those of you of my native country, uh, that's £138.70. And, of course, you've got... Uh, shipping and customs involved on that as well. Uh, so this is by no means a cheap figure. Um, so looking at it, just like from the pictures and the quick look um, that we have here on the box, uh, it, it, it is a very beautiful figure. So let's open her up and see, is she worth that money? I mean, you're asking the wrong guy here. Let's face it. Like, it's Kurumi. Like, you could have, like, doubled the price on this freaking thing and I would have been like, 100%, just take my money. Just take it and take it and take it and take it and give me more Kurumi. But it's fine. Okay, so uh, looking at the box, first of all, obviously, um, here it is. You've got a nice open window view here. What I really don't like, sorry about the light, uh, is that the, <laughs> the bubble wrap is right across her midsection. Um, so you can't really get a good, good look of the figure. You get a basic idea. But yeah, nice big window on there. Big picture of Kurumi at the bottom on the side of the box. It's a window with the uh, another picture of Kurumi there and same on the other side. Whereas the back, you've got 
two pictures of the figure. It's just an open window at the top and uh, yeah, white at the bottom. So there's one, there's whenever I've shown people this figure, right? There's, they've, they don't like it. And like, I'll show you why in a second. Uh, so let's open, let's open this figure. Uh, I've misplaced my knife. So let's open this figure and I'll show you what they don't like, but what I absolutely freaking love. Uh, obviously if you've seen my army army video, um, where we, we, we went through opening this, uh, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you saw my other Kurumi Tokusaki, uh, my last figure unboxing, uh, you, you'll also see, um, that I'm a fan of certain areas of this woman. Uh, yeah, so opening the box, we're greeted to this kind of view here. And uh, let's get her out of the box. Ooh. All right, just in like the plastic and loan, she looks absolutely freaking gorgeous. So that's her there. Uh, a little bit of a 360 view, but we're, we're going to get her out of the box. We're going to set her free. Indeed, we are. So clear some space. In case you're wondering, inside of the box is just a nice kind of pretty like, pretty like pink color. And uh, the window bits are full of my uh, fingertips because I'm I'm sweating because uh, I'm opening a figure of my waifu. Uh, but yeah, let's get into this. So tape be gone. As figure collectors, we tackle things such as tape and endless amount of plastic. So hopefully this will be relatively easy. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. So let's open the base. Not bad, this one. Not bad. As I can see from the bottom of the figure, she's, she's her, like the kimono kind of spreads out a bit. On the base, we've got like some of the uh, kimono pattern on there. Those uh, pretty flowers and whatnot, which uh, looks very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Right, so let's tackle this plastic. Ara, ara indeed. Is her head? Yeah, her head pops off. Her head looks beautiful. Kurumi, darling, where are you going? There we go. Oh, I don't like how they've done that. I do not like how they've done that at all. Oh, I see. I see. Actually, that's all right. I, oh, no, I don't like how they've done this at all. And uh got to say, this thing looks freaking beautiful. Nice, uh, nice cleavage on this, won't lie. Okay, we've made it. We've made it. It was a bit of a struggle, but I think if we're being honest here, I was being a little bit precious. My God. My God, that looks absolutely beautiful. So here she is in her kimono. And uh, yeah, look at the uh, look at the beauty of that. I mean, obviously, I'll shoot some B-roll of this, so uh, you get to see her a bit close up and whatnot. But like, just is she one of these figures that you can stand without the base? Let me have a look. No, not very well. Uh, but yeah, I love the way that they've got her flintlock and pistol here. I love the little token of like the cat on there. I'm guessing that's like a good look thing. Uh, I'll have to look into that. But she looks absolutely. Noise. Uh, let's say that. Ah, oh, she just looks so, so freaking good. Let's get her on the base, kids. Let's get her on the base. How do you go in? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, beauty. Oh, yeah, beauty. Oh, this is a struggle. BRB, kids. Am I going about this the wrong way? Got ya. Got ya. She's on. <laughs> she is on. Here we go. Kind of. She's not on. She swivels. We thought we'd done it. Jesus. So yeah, if you're getting this figure yourself, she's not, she should just not get on this base very easily. God damn it, Kurumi. <laughs> God damn it, Kurumi. Get on your base. Sweating like a champion. Uh... Jesus Christmas almighty. That was like, that was one of the biggest struggles I've ever had to put like a figure on the base. That was just unbelievable. Uh, it seemed like the little pins didn't match up with the feet and like the robe doesn't fall where the kimono's meant to fall. And uh, yeah, just absolutely, uh, absolutely weird. Such a weird design. Um, so yeah, that's my only, only real downside on this figure. Uh, looking at it overall, she looks absolutely fan freaking fantastic. And like I was saying earlier, one aspect that I absolutely adore about this figure, but everyone was put off by this one thing, uh, was the butt. Everyone says it looks really weird. I, to be honest, like it, it looks a lot less emphasized in the person uh, than it does in all the photos. But can I just say, <laughs> noise nonetheless. Uh, like I said in the other video, uh, we do love a booty shot. Uh, but yeah, this one is absolutely fantastic. So now I've finally got this one on the base. Let's roll some B-roll and uh, yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> Right, 
PTO then. So the, the question is, is this one worth the money? And, you know, this one was also pushed back. This was meant to be with us in February, but it was released in June. Um, so was the weight worth it? Was was the price worth it? And 100%, obviously, I'm very, very biased because I'm a huge Kurumi Tokusaki fan. Uh, but overall, this is just a very beautiful figure. She's got a trademark uh, flintlock and pistol. Uh, the nail, the face, the kimono, the colours, obviously, it just follows her scheme. It just looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, Fun, freak, fantastic! I love the big black bow on the back there. That looks absolutely amazing. And um, yeah, I'd say 100% worth it. If you're a, a Kurumi fan or if you're a Day to Life fan, then 100% because they're releasing one of Toka as well. Whether they'll release more of the other characters, who knows? Uh, but yeah, this is a fun Free fantastic figure. But let me know in the comments, what do you think of this Kurumi Tokasaki kimono version figure? Alluring kimono, should I say. Uh, very elegant. Very, very nice. Uh, I can't wait to pose it with the... Uh, the rest of the Kurumi clones over there. So don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Come hang out with me on Twitch and Discord during the week. And subscribe for more anime content. So, till next time my fellow weebs. Peace!